to think of a ruthless, dishonest and manipulative person. A person that you probably prefer not to meet in your life. What if I told you that you do deal with such a person on a daily basis? To your surprise, this person could be your teacher, your boss, and even your president. Well, you would probably think that's unpleasant even to think about. But here, we're not going to Valley would have another say. Lying, murdering, breaking promises, manipulating, deceiving, everything's permitted. Been a while, haven't it? Did you see that motorcade roll up? It's the first time that the President of the United States has visited Gaffney. Can you believe it? Oh, I wouldn't be here if I had a choice, but I have to do these sort of things now. Makes me seem more human. In a similar manner, you may find a politician that doesn't care about religion, but he acts as if he cares and gets guided by God. He poses that if the state is not ruled by the word of God, then it will surely fall into despair, or it even may be attacked by birds throwing rocks from haze. Machiavelli influenced many politicians along the way, and he was a great example. It's better to be feared, hated, than to be loved, Machiavelli said. As a defendant of fear throughout his reign, he remained in power by making people look at him as the only and the most powerful source of authority, ruling by fire and blood to keep people always in check. Machiavelli's work was banned for 200 years by the church and gained a bad reputation among the thinkers of his era. No one dared to declare that they are doing what Machiavelli says on a daily basis. One of the main critics to Machiavelli's philosophy was the work of Frederick II of Prussia, the anti-Machiavelli. Machiavelli's advisory to the people in power would end up in a disastrous way. He stated that following this rule would prevent people and politicians from striving for a better ruling, where these kinds of action, like lying and ruthlessness, would not exist. And it would just encourage people to think of a better way to manipulate, lie, and deceive, which cannot be for the good in any thinkable way, as Frederick said. From the lion's den to a pack of wolves, when your fresh meat, kill and throw them something fresher. Now, suppose you have a book full of ideas, evil ideas. Do you think that you will not benefit from reading them? I think that we will benefit. It will help us understand the political conflict happening around the world. It will help us to distinguish between those who are righteous and those who are deceiving and manipulating us. Oh, thank you for watching.